Bitcoin has been on a roller coaster ride from its lows in July of 29,000 up to the highs of 53,000 as of yesterday. There's a lot of hopium out there. There's a lot of hype out there. And you've been looking for someone to finally break it down in a simple and clear way that you actually understand, but only based on the facts. And that's exactly what you're gonna get today. We're gonna break down a realistic outlook of Bitcoin based on only the facts, not my emotional opinion, not what I think might happen based on all these philosophies. We're just gonna look at what the facts are saying, break it down in a simple and clear way so you leave this video with a realistic outlook. Buckle up. If you're new here, my name is Steve. And this is where I'm gonna help you have a lot more success and a lot less stress. Hit that subscribe button, let's jump straight into it. This is the Gaussian channel. The Gaussian channel has been a very, very key attribute to Bitcoin over the past 10 years. And basically, there's a couple ways to look at it, but I'm gonna give you the way that our community looks at it based on the facts. And the facts are, when Bitcoin is in a major uptrend, and we start to reverse that trend, which we did back in April, we start to reverse that trend and we enter the Gaussian channel, it acts as quicksand. And generally speaking, over the past 10 years in Bitcoin, the four other data points suggest that when we're in an uptrend and we enter the Gaussian channel, that quicksand is so powerful that we remain in it for about one year. On average, again, you can go back in history and look at the 10 year history of Bitcoin. Anytime we entered this Gaussian channel after being in an uptrend, it's not very pretty. So where are we looking at today? What's it looking like? We entered the Gaussian channel officially May 16th. So we spent 105 days in the Gaussian channel and this candle is about to close in 13 hours. And this candle could be critical. It could be a game changer and it could be a relatively exciting candle. And here's why. In 13 hours from now, this candle will close. If it does, it'll be the first candle in 105 days that actually is outside of the quicksand. So our quicksand, the high of our quicksand, the top of the channel is at 47.9K. And you can see the low of this candle went to 48 0.3k. So technically speaking, this would be the first candle in 105 days that is outside of the quicksand. We can catch our breath. We can look around and see what's happening. But again, if you look left and you look at the facts in the charts, this could be exciting. However, we did it previously where we were in a major uptrend where we went from 3k to 14k. Do you remember that move? And then we entered a downtrend. We entered this Gaussian channel on September 28th. And then one month later, October 28th, we had a candle close outside of it, right? We fell all the way down to this median line. We bounced off of it. We had a candle close above here. In fact, we had two and then we rolled over and made an even lower low. So we can be relatively excited that we are going to have potentially our first candle 105 days, although we have to remain level-headed that this has happened previously when we bounced from our low and we do not want to roll over. So let's look at some further charts to see if in fact we could roll over and what that would look like, or are we about to have a very bullish signal coming into the market? Now we're at the two week chart. Okay, the two week chart with the stochastic RSI, which is this at the bottom here, is incredibly powerful. It removes a lot of the false signals that you would get in a weekly chart, and the two week chart is incredibly beneficial. But this is exciting. What Bitcoin is doing here structurally from the price standpoint, it's about to have a second confirmation candle above this key level of 45.2K. Why is this level key? Well, if you go back all the way till February 2021, this is when we started forming this little base here. We broke this base, it became resistance. We broke this candle on August 2nd, and now we're about to have two candles in a row right? So for one month, essentially, we're going to confirm above here, right? This candle closes in five days. And at the same time, we had a major, major, major cross in the stochastic RSI. When you see the stochastic RSI, if you see blue on top, it's bullish. If you see a cross and a cross confirmation above the 20, that's incredibly bullish. And if you see that on the two week chart, it's fascinatingly bullish. In fact, if you scroll back in history, the last time we had a lackluster amount of momentum and a cross up, 
price was here at 3K. Technically speaking, we haven't had this bullish of a cross since 3K. And again, those are just the facts in the charts. This is not my emotional opinion, but this chart is saying, hey, this is a relatively rare occurrence. It's so rare it hasn't happened since 2018. So it's time to pay attention to that because at the same time, structurally, we're confirming a pretty powerful level here on the two week chart. All right, this is just our Twitter. If you wanna follow us there, it's Crypto Crew U on the Twitters. Now we're getting into a three-day chart. Why the three-day chart? Because some of you guys like the more short-term. You wanna know what's going to happen in the next few days. What are the key levels to watch out for? This is a, this is a beautiful chart. It's a line chart. It's based on the closing prices. But look, if you zoom out a little bit, we had that base here at 40K, which we're holding beautifully, okay? It was our resistance since January of this year, and we broke that. It's really nice to see that. A lot of strength came into the market, and we went right up to where we were supposed to. We were supposed to have some trouble here at 46K. We broke above that. We confirmed as support on August 14th at 46, and we went to the next logical level. The next logical level is based on the market structure. So this candle here from April 22nd was our support and is now our resistance or was our resistance on August 20th. So we confirmed support here. We went above, we confirmed some resistance. We came down and we formed a higher low. Our previous low was here. We formed a higher low here. That gave us the momentum to break through. And now we want to see confirmation of that support at 49.6K. If that seems relatively confusing to you, let me explain it in a simple way. Bitcoin is showing strength right now. We're showing strength above this level. We want to confirm that we have support at this level. And then we want to test this next level. This next level is at 56.6K. Why is that significant? Look at the support here, look at the support here, look at the support here, dating back all the way until this candle in February of this year. This is a major level. So you wanna see confirmation of support here, and then you wanna see us test this uh, maybe later this week or early next week, you wanna see us test 56.6K, and we wanna see how we react. But we're showing strength in the short term, and we wanna see that continue. Now, this is where things get really interesting. And this is where you've got to really buckle up and pay close attention because a lot is happening in this chart. And we're going to start with everyone's favorite, the NVT, okay? This is our custom NVT HV indicator. HV is the historical volatility. Technically speaking, since March of this year, we've been losing our momentum, okay? So volatility, right? So HV is historical volatility. So when volatility is high, you see big price movements, you see the most major moves of the entire year. It's highly likely, as we've been stating for weeks now, Bitcoin is getting ready for its largest move of 2021. And that's not our opinion, that's not what we're hoping. We don't have our fingers crossed, we're not flipping coins, we're not guessing. This is just the facts in the charts. Anytime the historical volatility goes below the 40, that's when we have our largest move of the year. We get one or two of them per year. And again, this is not us as a channel. Our community just focuses on the facts. So if you're new here, don't come here thinking, oh my God, they're just making these random guesses like a lot of YouTubers do. No, we base everything on the facts and our community will let you know that. And again, we're getting close to this 40 level. It's not gonna happen tomorrow or the next day, but we're getting very close. You have to be patient and we're just, we've been in a downtrend since February of this year, okay? We've been losing our volatility since February of this year. We've been in a downtrend since February of this year. It's only a matter of time before we come below here. And then we have the largest move of 2021. Now, this is where things get interesting because a lot of people think, oh, it's certainly going to be bullish. No, that's not the case. What you need to look for is the color. You need to look for the color. As we pointed out, we've been following this NVT HV for years. And we said, look, when we turned bullish back here in October, 2020, you can see where prices were at. They were at roughly 11,000. And when we went bullish, we made a lot of videos about this and said, look, the market is very bullish. Bitcoin will continue to rise in price until we turn white. We turned white at about 63,000. We made a video again and we said, look, this is very bearish. And again, not our opinion, just the facts. 
we turn bearish at a little bit above 60,000. Why? Because we turned white, okay? We turned red momentarily, but again, back to white, and then we remained white for a long period of time. We remained bearish. Why? Because we were white, right? Now we turn back to red here on July 19th. We made another video about this. We made it abundantly clear that we now turned bullish in the NVT. Okay, and that was when Bitcoin was at about 32, 33, 34,000, and then we've been bullish since. But this is where it gets interesting. The largest move of the year, it happens when the historical volatility in the MVT, we go below this 40 level, and the color change when we come out is key. If we come back above this 40 and we're red, we're gonna go up at least 50%. And if we turn white, we'll go down at least 50%. This is how this works. You can see it clearly here. We were down below this 40 level and we came out in red and you know what happens. And then just look at a previous example. We are up here at you know 10,000. We came above this 40 level and we changed to white and we dropped from 10,000 to 3,000. This is no joke. This will be the largest move of 2021. And this is our custom indicator. If you're looking for this on TradingView, it will not exist. This is our custom design indicator. I will say this because I've been bombarded. We get bombarded with emails about this indicator. We are dropping something incredibly special soon. It's a new indicator bundle. We made buy alerts right to your phone, really simple and easy and better, and sell alerts right to your phone, simple and easy and better. That indicator bundle, if you sign up to that in time and you lock in your seat in time, we're more than likely going to give you this HV NVT absolutely free. So that'll be a cool bonus. Pay close attention as we approach this. Now let's get to some bad news. RSI. The RSI had its peak in January and we've been in a downtrend since. That's not our opinion. We formed a high here, a lower high, another lower high, another lower high, another lower high. Just the facts. We're in a downtrend. We need the RSI to get above this level, which is at 65. So if you're watching on the weekly, 65 on the RSI, we need that to happen. So far, it hasn't happened. So we're still in a downtrend in the RSI. Nobody can argue that, it's just the facts. Now, what's also interesting is on the weekly, the stochastic RSI just had a cross down. Just, just had a cross down. Weekly stochastic cross, nothing to play with. However, we're still above the 80 level. Essentially, this trade confirms when we get below the 80 level according to the the person who invented the stochastic RSI. So something to pay attention to, nothing to freak out about at the moment. So this is what's happening in the market, right? We're gearing up for Bitcoin's largest move. We're staying level headed. There's some bullish cases in the charts. There's some bearish cases in the charts, but it's really going to come down to the HV NVT. And when we go below this 40 level, what color do we come out of it as? Now, as we round out, this is the three box theory still intact, but the major, major, major thing to watch is down here in the RSI on the monthly. This is something we've been talking about for months now. And what is Bitcoin going to do when we approach this historic level of 71.38? Why is it historic? For 10 years, this is the most, this is the most important level to watch in the RSI. Okay, why? Because that was our resistance back here in 2012. And then fast forward to 2013, it was our support. It was also our support in 2017. It was also our support in 2018. And when you break support, what does it become? Resistance. Again, not our emotional opinion. These are the facts. If Bitcoin plows through this level of 71.38, it, it'll be a rocket ship. It'll be a rocket ship. If we get rejected, it'll be a heavy rejection. Okay, this level is nothing to play with. So we're approaching it. We're getting close. You can see right now we are at about 69.7. Yeah, we're well, just we're approaching just about 70. And again, this level is at 71.38. So I believe that this may coincide with this level for the historical volatility in the MVT. If we go below this level and come out and get rejected from that level on the RSI, you know, it'll be a bloodbath. If we plow through here, we're gonna remain red 
in the NVT, and it'll be fascinatingly bullish. It'll be a rocket ship. All right. So that's what it boils down to. We've got our three box theory. We're still intact. We're still there for we've been covering this chart for about one year, maybe 10, 11, 12 months. And basically it says, look, in every single bull market, we hit a wall. When do we hit a wall? We hit a wall mathematically between 1.5x multiple of the previous all-time high and a 4x multiple. And by the way, we hit a wall right before our parabolic top, okay? It happened in the past two cycles, and in each of these cycles, we collapse all the way down to the bottom, which is a 1.5x multiple. That's when everyone freaks out. We've done it time and time again. This is when we have the only the only red candles. So we're, we're right on schedule, okay? We're right on schedule, but again, the big test is going to be this level in the RSI. So a lot to unpack here. I'm pretty excited about this chart, right? Short term, we're still showing some strength short term. Medium term to long term, we've got to figure out what the NVT HV color change is going to be. We have to see how we're going to react with this. And we got to pay close attention to our quicksand as we have just dusted ourselves off with the quicksand. Now, one thing that a lot of people ask me is when to sell cryptocurrency. We made a video, three simple steps, when to sell. This will help you tremendously. Watch that video. I'll link it over here. You'll see it pop up on the screen. It's also linked down below. Go watch that video right now. I'll see you right back here on the next video. Make sure you watch that video that's just below me right here. Peace and love to the fellow underdogs.